I'm Sydney, I'm 22 years old, and I have cystic fibrosis. So in August, I moved out into the Pittsburgh area for a new teaching position after graduating from college in May, and I am a sixth grade learning support teacher. In 2019, I was first prescribed to be on Trikafta, and that was going into my senior year of high school. And then more recently in June, I was prescribed to be on a lift track. Before Trikafta, high school was definitely super tough for me. I was in and out of the hospital a lot, dealing with a lot of infections. My lung function had decreased down into the 60s, and just getting out of bed daily was super hard. So the most thing that I've noticed right after being on Trikafta was being able to jump back into soccer, being able to go out and do things with my friends, and just going out and living life because everything was put on a hold whenever I was super sick. After my freshman year of college, I was getting super sick and I wasn't sure because my body was super worn down after just being in school, playing soccer, and living a regular, as much as a regular life for a college student, or it was because the medication wasn't working, but we saw a big decrease in my pulmonary function test, so we just started to figure out weighing the options. Is it better for me to stay on it or to go off of it? And we decided just to stay on it because at that point there was no other medication. We were gonna take every bit that it was giving me still. I ended up missing almost my entire senior year of soccer being in the hospital, being super sick. My final goal was to make it out for the last game of the season. And with the support of my doctor, they got me home on IVs. My coach helped me surprise my team. Our last senior is number 26, Sydney Willig. They were there supporting me for day one, so I wanted to be there to support them in whatever way possible. So I went in for the last 10 minutes and was able to finish up on the field with the girls that I've been with since day one. That was just really important to me to be able to finish on my own terms and not have CF finish it for me. In 2024, I, in December, I was in the hospital for five lung infections. It started off with me going in just to get a normal scope, finding out about the infections, and then from the scope, I also got a collapsed lung. And going through my mind at that point was, am I gonna be able to graduate on time? Am I gonna be able to go into student teaching? And we started looking ahead to see what else could be the next answer for us. Finding out that a live track was coming out, I was super excited and we were looking forward to a new medication. Having the different modulators allows varieties of medication to go out to reach more patients, which is really important and allow them to get the benefits from it. For me, having a lift trek get approved was really important. My personal experience was being able to see my daily life change, going from barely being able to walk to running 10 miles to running my first half marathon in May of 2025. It changed so quickly and I just felt so much better. The modulators, I've always been told growing up that it's not a cure and I always keep that in the back of my mind. It's just a band-aid to help us to find a cure and I'm so thankful that we are finding these band-aids to hold us over for as long as we can to help us. It's just changed my life for so many good things that I'm excited to see what else of a normal life that I can live having CF.